Hello and welcome to Rugby League Team Manager 3 everybody. It's a first look at this early access title by Alternative Software. Uh, it's actually the first time I've ever played a rugby league management game. I've played other sports management games but uh, not rugby league so I'm really looking forward to taking a look at it. Now it's been out for a few days, it's already received a few patches so it looks like the developers are pretty active and uh, looking just to clean up some of those bugs that you would expect at the early access stage. Uh, by the way, this is uh, I bought the game myself, it's not a paid type of thing, but if there are people out there that want to pay me to do this stuff, by all means, go ahead and do it. Anyway, remember everybody, if you do enjoy these types of videos, smash a like button down below, and if you're new, subscribe. It costs nothing at all, except just a little bit of self-respect. And who's not willing to give up some of that? Most of us do it on a Saturday night out on the town. Anyway, here we go, here goes the entry screen. I have literally just loaded up the game and uh, so what we might as well do is go through the tutorial. We'll just take a bit of a look around the game. We'll just see where it leads us. And then perhaps get to a point where we can actually see the game in action uh, sort of um, playing out an actual rugby league game. So yes, I'm new. Show me the basics. Manager set up. Okay, we're going to make this uh, pretty quick, hopefully. Kiwi. Nice. First of January is good enough, but uh, let's go back here somewhere. Let's go back in the 70 somewhere. Let's just use that. Contract length. Uh, well, one year, I suppose. We're on uh, we're on notice. We've got to perform well or else we're going to be out of there. Oh, I don't like this. It's a little bit too small. And, and it can't. It, when you type in, it doesn't let you uh, go straight to where you want to be. You know how sometimes you type in like N and it'll go down to the ends, but didn't do it that time, but that's okay. Confirm the details. There we go. We won't muck around with that. Select the manager style. Okay, let's take a look at this. So you've got the player coach. Uh, okay, so this is someone who's obviously played the game in the past, and the mild and this you get a couple of boosts. You have got a training boost and an, a training additions boost. You got the suit, who's great at negotiation and wisdom. Uh, the drill sergeant, player fitness, training, developing potential. Now you all probably can think of some rugby league coaches that fit into these categories. A volunteer, no boosts. The purists, attacking and kicking. Uh, this is a coach who's determined to play exciting, flying rugby, no matter the situation. That kind of, that, I think I'm going to go that unless this is, okay, attacking defence and tactical c consistency for the tactician. I'm going the purists. We're going to throw the ball around. Confirm the manager style. So, hey, that's pretty cool. So that will sort of shape the type of manager you're going to be. Okay, so let's take a look at the options here. You're here in the Northern Hemisphere. You've got the Super League. You've also got uh, the Championship right there. And League One right there. So you've got three, oh, right down here to the NCL Premier, the NCL One. Is there any more? Oh, my. Okay. You've got France. You've got USA. You've got, got Canada. You've got a whole ton of different options right there. I really like that. That's awesome. I might have to give Canada a go one stage. But let's get into the Southern Hemisphere. It's the area I'm a little bit more familiar with. And you've got, of course, the NRL right here. And uh, the New South Wales and Queensland Cup t uh, divisions. And then, oh, we've got a New Zealand division here. Great. Okay, awesome. So it's got all the teams that you're expecting there. I don't think they quite match up, do they? I don't think they quite match up with the actual teams. But uh, you could probably, uh, I would say that the database is going to be customizable. So that, that will mean you can go in and put everyone in that should be in there. So New South Wales division. Two. Okay, so there's a few there. But let's get up to, into the NRL. And I'm going to go the good old Warriors. Why not? Go the Warriors. That's my team. And they're very, very hard to follow, by the way. Very inconsistent. Um, only in their 25-year history uh, made the grand final twice, 2002 and 2011, I think it was. Pretty sure. But haven't won the thing. So let's check this out. Okay, welcome to Rugby League Team uh, Manager 3 tutorial. Here you'll learn the basics. Blah, 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 blah. Let's begin. All right. Okay, so you've got all these icons that will take you to certain places, obviously. This one will take to the club screen. Okay, boom, click on that. Um, this is where you assign sponsors for your team. You can only assign one sponsor, so choose wisely as they all provide differing benefits. Okay, let's assign a sponsor, everybody. Oh, we got trillion. Okay, uh, what's this here? Okay, your club caliber is national and tiers available to you are five. I have to look into that a bit more, but I assume that just sort of determines the type of sponsors that are at your disposal. Okay, so that's tier five right there, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, you got a tier four by the looks of that, semi-pro. Okay, I got it right, there's a pet shop. Okay, so look, if you're down this end, you've got a one year, oh, annual funding of 908K per year, that sounds like a lot. What about up here though? Ah, right, 7.2 million a year. Um, so we might as well assign these guys that don't look, oh, hold on, we have got some options. You got 7206. 
plus a five percent or a plus five reputation boost that's plus one rep plus 7.2 and that's 7.26 zero six that's 72 okay slightly more money but more of a reputation boost for micro vits uh, auto vehicle 7201 and a nine rep boost that sounds good to me also all the durations are one year at this point 11 for these guys it's all around the same money there or thereabouts 17 rep boost vitality is 19 and it's three years Okay, you got two years, 29. Oh, you've got a lot. Okay, okay. Oh, look, the reputation boosts are huge. But the uh, looks like the trade-off for the reputation boosts are uh, basically uh, the amount you're going to get per year, but it's locked in for a longer period. So let's go somewhere in the middle. Say a two-year deal, 35 reputation boost. Uh, who do you want to be? 7109.29. Let's go banter. Quench your laughter. That sort of suits the Warriors. Let's go with that. This menu button will take to the player's screen. Okay, let's just click on it then. Uh, tap this button will take to team selection where you assign and submit training for that rotation, I assume that says. Okay, great. Okay, the Warriors are... This is where you can... Uh, the Warriors are against the Bulldogs in our next fixture. I assume it's a pre-season. This is where you assign the players to the team for the currently selected squad. I've got to say, by the way, that the actual UI is looks really nice. I think from memory, um, and I haven't played the previous games, but I remember looking at them at the time they come out, and the UI looked a little bit dated. So this seems to be an improvement from the previous ones. Like I said, I haven't played them, but just from the look. Okay, this is where you assign players. Save time quick, assign players by using the coach's quick pick drop down. Okay, yep, that sounds good. Uh, oh, hold on, what happened? Okay, good. Oh, it looks like it's got proper names too. You got Papa Lehi, Blair, Harris, Green. Okay, good. Um, okay, this is where you switch between squads. Okay, you got Academy, Main, and you can uh, you can go ahead and edit them. That's fine. Right, boom. This menu button will take to the training screen. Let's go in there. This tab will take you to the training rotor one. Oh, it's actually rotor. I thought it was rotation. It means the same thing, but, you know, you can assign. This is where you assign and submit your fortnightly training rotor, which must be completed every two weeks. Right-click on it, already, already assigned slots to empty them or use the clear all button at the bottom. Okay. It looks like everything, uh, nothing's been assigned. Oh, it's all rest. Can you just do it automatically? Training options, cardio workout. Okay, so I think you go here. Hold on, what am I doing? Once you've done, submit the rotor and continue. I think, do you have to put it in? Do you go like this, do you? No? Uh, oh, like this. Uh, right. No? It, hold a minute. Cardio workout. Okay, what's happening here, everybody? What is happening? Sprint drills. In here? In here? No. In here? In here? Okay, let me figure this out. I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, I figured it out. I actually had to remove all these. These were all resting uh, rotors right here, or resting days. So you got to go in there, and let's just do some pre-season cardio for the first week. That sounds good to me. And then we've got uh, attacking, unopposed, tackle, practice, tackle, Tackle, attacking, hold on, hold on, attacking, tackle, oh hold on, I have got tackle, attacking, there we go, we've got it, long distance running, bit of cardio in there, some tactics, some sprint drills, oh hold a minute here, I'm probably, I probably need to, I'm going to give them the weekend off, I'm going to give them all the weekend off here everybody, right I'll put this together and then once I've got it I'll come back to you so you don't have to see me going through this. Okay, I've put it all together. I've mixed uh, the first couple of weeks is a lot of cardio, sprints, power lifting. Then we've, lift, uh, we've changed it into some strength training, some tactical stuff, some kicking, and some wrestling. So we'll submit that training plan. And this tab will take the training row to two. Okay. So I'll go ahead and put that one together quickly, guys, and then we'll have our training set up. Okay, and that is my second rotor right there, everybody, and it's a, a mix of really some cardio. This time we've reduced one of the rest days. We've got cardio to start off the week, long distance uh, sort of running at the end in a simulation, simulated match. So we're just looking to build that core base of fitness. 
Okay, once you've done submit the rotor, there we go, boom. Okay, now we can go to the tactics screen. Okay, this is where you assign a team captain for each squad. All players must be assigned in the player's team selection before a captain can be assigned for each squad. Clicking on a player, position on the left will show the player currently assigned to that position, allow, to, allow you to sign them as captain if you wish to. Okay. Uh, okay, we've got it. So let's, let's look at the team. You've got Bunty R4, Isaac Luke, Ignatius Parsi, you've got Tohu Harris, uh, Adam Blair, Zaya Papelihi, uh, Harris DeVita, Blake Green, Peter Hiku, Jared Bell, Ken Mamalo, David Fus Etua, and Roger Tuivasa Sheik. Now he's got a bit, he's going to be the captain, definitely. All right. This is where you can assign a first and second positional kickers for your currently assigned teams. It works the same as captain selection, except you must, oops, spelling, you must assign both the first and second positional kicker by using the buttons above. Okay, so that's quite straightforward. Um, it's going to be green will be the kicker. And the second positional kicker is going to be, oh, hold on, he's, Hold on. Well, did I do that correctly? I oh, will have to go back to it. I think I might have mucked that up. Okay, this is where you can adjust the instructions of the team that will affect how players behave during a match. You don't need to adjust anything at the moment. Okay, great. So you can, you know, really you go structured, more flexible, ad lib, move by move. The uh, structure, same again. It's just basically either one end of the spectrum you got structured, the other end you're thrown around like an absolute numpty. Then you can obviously put individual um, strategies in here too. I really like this, by the way. I like the depth. I'm liking the depth. This week, next is more in-depth tactics such as move set, structured attack, and structured defense. All right, you little ripper. This button is what allows you to advance to the next day. Control how many days you skip ahead by using the slider on the left of the button. Oh, yeah, I see, seven. Okay. If there's ever anything that needs your attention on a particular date before progressing, the game will let you know and point you in the right direction. Okay. You're now ready to advance assign pre-season friendlies and then advance to a match you're ready to advance assign okay so we've got to assign some pre okay link to pre-season friendlies who do we want to play okay friendlies assignment let's let's just stick it let's stay, stay down here okay we'll play the uh home and or, or away we'll play the broncos at home and then we will play gold coast titans away because there's a lot of people a lot of New Zealanders over there. We'll play that one away. And then we'll play another away game. Let's go away to Melbourne. A lot of New Zealanders over there. There we go, the Storm. These are all, hold on. These are hard games, some of these. Uh, we'll play them away. And then at home, how about we play Cowboys at home? There we go. So we've uh, locked in our friendlies. It looks like you can just select home and away, but... Um, and whatever you want to do by the looks of it. Uh, I haven't read this bit up here. That will probably explain it. Confirm friendlies. All right, here we are. Here goes attack this overview. Um, right, this is where I just want to check that he is currently assigned. Uh, okay, so select the position from the left to show the player currently assigned to that position. So as a kicker, yeah, but second kicker I want it to be. I don't know if I go like this. I oh, now it's Isaac Luke. See, no, that's not what I want to do. Assign green. How do I assign my second kicker? I don't know how to do it. Anyway, we've got some inbox messages right here, so let's check them out. Welcome, welcome to Mount Smart Stadium. Okay, great. They've got the right uh, the right name there. Uh, we hope your tenure here is rewarding. Blah blah blah. So they want us to reach the semi-finals. <laughs> okay. All right, that's going to be interesting. And of course, you've got some. It looks like you've got some bottom teams too. Okay, so you must manage all the. Uh, you must manage the teams underneath you too. Look, the, it's in pounds. I want to see whether we can swap that to dollars. We'll see that in a minute. A sponsorship deal must be signed by the close of business today. I'm pretty sure we've done that. Well, I'm smart Mount Smart. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, we've done the rotor, the training rotor, so they can go away. So how do you get rid of them? There we go, like that. Where are the options? Okay, so staff. Okay, it looks like... Oh, select a head coach. 
who we got. Uh, okay, so here's a general kick, uh, level three star Rua Gear. Okay, I don't know who who's our who's going to be our coach. If you click on him, how can you see what his attributes are? It just says that he's a five star level position. I don't know what to do there. We can go back to this, but uh, medical star. Let's go, Doctor Leon Braid. Head physio Scott Muir. That sounds good. Assistant Ruki Reed. Ah, a head coach. That will be me. I assume. Right. Okay. That seems uh, quite straightforward. Staff search. Okay. So it looks like you can go in here. Coaching. Choose level. Say three star, and boom. You've got a whole lot of options here. You've got uh, the amount that they're gonna cost from a salary point of view. So that's all cool. Uh, staff shortlist. Okay. So you can put some shortlists in here. And decide, you know, the type of coaches that you need, attack coaches, whatever it might be. Okay, that's cool. Injuries, no one in the injury squad at the moment or ha has an injury. Here goes our training groups. Okay, so they're split into training groups and then you've got your rotation on one side. Okay, so you can delegate this to somebody if you wanted to. And then your second rotor, here it goes here, the one I developed. And then individual training, we haven't done that yet. Uh, just got extra cardio, so I mean that will do in the meantime. We're just taking a first look. So here goes your tactics. You can go ahead. It's called structure. It's saying structured rigid, but um, we're going to go structured flexible defensive style. We will say structured because we're terrible. Let's take a look. Uh, we've got a preseason friendly coming up on the fifth. Uh, home is back here at the start. So this is a bit of an overview of the main screen. It shows you when your next game is. Four days away against the Broncos. Uh, a little bit of an overview right here. Uh, in terms of the, your upcoming competition. The board confidence, great. This is very similar to Football Manager. Uh, reputation, contracts, budgets, okay, great. And then the results down in here. Uh, you got your financial report down here. Player of the year standings, okay, great. A league table, uh, and it just shows, you know, if you've got players on the different list, the band list, the low morale, the transfer, okay, great. Point scorers, a few stats over here. Here, let's go to the settings. So this is something I do want to look at. Uh, you've got a whole lot of resolutions. Ah, great. Right here, I can change it to dollars. And then go like that. And it should now be in dollars. It's, it certainly is. Great. Okay, so you've got that option there. So that's cool. We're just going to go through each of these tabs here to see what it's all about. Roger. Here we go. We're going to Roger. 25 years old. He is the man. Um, it's got his stats here. And you can sort them by all time. Obviously, it's got nothing in there at this point. And here goes the key ones. His overall is a 76. That seems light for him. He's an absolute legend. Maybe that's high in the game, though. But uh, 82 acceleration, 94 stamina. Psychological, uh, not very aggressive, but um, a lot of composure and great positioning. And technical down here. So obviously, you know, you just got to work with those and understand each of your players. Uh, we can check out his contract right here. Uh, $1,413 per week. Man, that's not much, really, when you think about it. Geez, again, paid less than 100 grand a year. Okay, that's not very realistic. 73, 476, in fact. But his value is 471k, so maybe there might be some room to uh, make those a little bit more realistic. Um, and here you go, here you can um, look to maybe train individual a attributes, and then it will then track it, I would say. There's nothing in here because we've done nothing at this point. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Some really good in depth sort of areas to investigate and to get your teeth into. Finances, okay. Uh, here we go here. Overall balance 9.5 mil. We spent nothing. Um, facilities upkeep, okay, so that's the cost. We've got TV income of a mil and 7.1 mil on the back of our sponsorship, okay. And then it's going to break down all your different, um, all your different uh, profit and loss components you've got your your month by month for your your prof uh, your, your revenue then your expenditure stats in terms of um attendance and all that sort of stuff and club clause receipts okay none received so far it looks like uh these are sort of bonus payouts that you might have to make to players and perhaps staff so transfers okay here we go here you can looks like you can transfer players so that's cool really looking forward to getting really into this by the way scouting if you're looking for Different players. I said we went to Castleford, and we, uh, you know, we could add them to a shortlist, for example, if we wanted to. Boom! There you go. You know, look for players, um, and then try to offer them contracts. I would imagine, and try to lure them across to your team. Competitions. 
okay so this is just a summary of all the different competitions right here uh, you could obviously go into southern hemisphere and you could say hey what's happening in the New Zealand division uh, it begins on the second or the third so that's not going to help too much uh, the overview no competition has currently been selected oh. uh, if we went like this uh, it doesn't really no I think it's because no games are being played and then the final tab up the top here goes to the board uh, it talks about the coaches that are available right there. Um, the fact that we our minimum expectation is reaching the semi-finals, which I think is quite blooming, given our current squad, that's a bit of a challenge. And there's our expectations, how you're tracking at the moment. We're midpoint, uh, results, reputation, expectations. So this is just a sort of an expanded version of what we saw on the front page. And uh, here goes a progress report. Here goes the board officials. He's 39 years old. He's a young board chairman, isn't he? Ryan Cribb. Never heard of him. And then we've got a Samoan Managing Director, uh, Bailey Langford. Not really a Samoan name, to be fair. 44 years old, youngish. And then our assisting, Assistant Director is only 27 years old. So it looks like we're into the young ones, and that's good in terms of getting young talent coming through the system. And then goes our Financial Expectations Development. So 7 Plus Alliance promotions must mean that our lower teams are promoting players up into the, uh, into the first grade, basically. So that's kind of cool. And our win percentage is uh, not applicable right now. Four days until match, so we go continue till next day. Advancing. Ah, first positional kicker linked to tactics. Okay, so saying I haven't got a first positional kicker is going to be a sign currently assigned. Great. Okay, great. That's what I thought I'd done. So that's good. It tells you. Okay, linked to tactics. Second positional kicker, Isaac Luke. Boom. There we go. So let's see if that's worked. Players, captain, and kicker selected. Begin match. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The first match. Warriors at home to the Broncos. Looking good. Okay, so you can either attend the match in 2D, so that will be a top-down view. Quick sim the match or attend the 3D match. Let's go to 3D match and check out uh, what's going on. Here we go. So look at that. Uh, can't change those. It looks like I'm oh, structures flexible. That's right. I did do that. How come we haven't got? It? I thought we'd have like a uh, sponsor on there. Anyway, attend the match. Okay, here we are. Didn't have to wait too long. The players are running out. Can't hear anything. Uh, as expected, really. I wasn't expecting really amazing graphics, and they're not all that great. Uh, they're not terrible. I mean, if you look at some other sort of sports management games, it's, it's not bad at all, really. Okay, so speed is normal. Auto manage, make a sub. Okay, so he kicks off. We've got no sound at all. At all. Music's on. Okay. He's coming. Who's bringing it back in? Matthew Lodge brings it back in. Let's, uh, let's make it fast. Why not? Oh, he's running right down the... What's going on here, everybody? Oh, they scored a try. That wasn't a good start by us, was it? Okay, let's check out the camera views right here. Um, this one here. There we go. Side on is what we want. Okay, Broncos are really dominating us right here. Look at the position. We've had basically had no position. Spin it out. 30 minutes gone. And they've come in for another try. And suddenly we are... Okay, so if we just, if we go to tactics, no, if we go make a sub, I guess we just throw it on auto manage, subs only. Okay, I'm going to, I've put it on for subs only, and so we've got, uh, we're man the, the computer's managing our subs, but anyway, we scored a try, it's great, and now who's that? Isaac Luke runs away, green kicks the goal. Okay, speed normal, it does actually go through, the clock does go a lot faster than, than real time anyway, but let's put it up to fast again, just to get a feel for it. Here we go here. Ooh. And we'll put in the big kick, but, oh, who's that? Darius Boyd, what a return. And as you can see, you can get through a game pretty quickly. Uh, what I might do is, for the last 20 minutes of the second half, I'll put it on just normal speed. Oh, what a ball there. Darius Boyd in through the gaps, gets a conversion, and suddenly 
It's uh, 18 points to 12 to Broncos. All the kicks are going over. We're now in the second half, by the way. And who's that? Oh, Roger Tuivasa Sheck, who's suddenly looking very pale, by the way. Good long kick. Ligisau takes it. Good run there by Adam Blair. Phew, some big defence going in there. Ken Marmolo. It looks like a good deep kick, but man, they get it right back out to the 30. Oh, he drops the ball. Okay, we're going to pull this back into... Uh, slow it down very soon, just for the last 20 minutes, just so we can get a feel for it. There we go. Into the normal speed. But as you can see, the clock is ticking down very, very quickly. But this is a little bit more palatable. I mean, it's almost slow motion. There's nothing in between. Oh, this is kind of normal speed. Let's just get a couple of different views here while we can. Okay, so we're behind the post here. Let's have a look at the view. So you got right down here on the pitch, which is really nice. Oh, the animations aren't amazing, to be fair. It's a nice pass out to Roger to Vasa Sheik. We're on the other side now. He dives in. Yeah, animations now, a very football manager like, so you kind of got to expect that. That's from behind the posts on that angle, and that's from uh, right. Okay, so that's looking from behind the attacking team, and this is looking for at right up near a player. Oh, that was a terrible looking pass. Okay, it looks like he's walking. <laughs> okay, the animations have got a little bit left to be desired, to be fair. Okay, so this looks like, this is just basically the distance away from the player. He looks like he's walking, by the way. And this one's up a little bit higher. And this one's up here. So I think if you go onto the side, uh, let's do it the other way around. Like this. And then it, it will show it from that angle, will it? No, it goes back onto the, uh, sorry, I thought it might just show it closer from that angle, but it doesn't. What's down here? I don't know what these two do. Anyway, 64 minutes gone in the match. It's 24 points to 18 to the Warriors somehow. I missed a try there somewhere. Here we go. Oh, big defense on Solomon Akata. What's he still doing? Oh, yeah, he still plays, doesn't he? Man, these guys are just walking around. What's up with that? That's not cool. I mean, I think it's because basically the only way you get them running is this, by putting it up to fast. Here we go. Now we're on far. Of, well, now we're on fast, sorry. Yeah, it's just... And then when you put it on normal, everyone sort of walks. So the animation just speed up or slow down. Normal should be having them running. They should be running at this speed. Like that. See, that's good. See, that looks that looks realistic. Uh, not the fact that all the Warriors players stand, stood around. In fact, no, actually, that is quite realistic. The Warriors players standing around. Ha! Okay, we'll flick it back onto that. How are we looking? 71 minutes gone. So, yeah, it gives you... Oh, jeez. He wasn't even facing the... Okay. 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 So, I think it's fair to say a lot of work probably required uh, from the uh, animations point of view, for sure. But we've got seven minutes left in this preseason game. The Warriors and the Broncos are 24 points apiece. Been a pretty even game, to be fair. That's a line ball. Yeah, let's see. Those guys just look like they're walking. I don't like that. Ah, oh, right, I see. You can actually ramp up normal. Ah, I see. Now they look like they sort of... It only goes fast there. So you can kind of have a slow normal. Or a... There we go. This is the fastest normal will come. So, yeah, but he's still walking. I mean, normal should be... There, see, the outside backs are running. But the inside backs aren't. Okay, that's better. Now, look, this guy, what's he doing? He's just drift. Yeah, this is, yeah. They need to definitely improve this part of it. Three minutes, two minutes left in the game, by the way. Looks like it could be a, a draw. So now this is two of us. He's running. Is he going to find the gap, though? No, he gets absolutely hammered. Uh, a little bit slow there. David Fusatua takes him from behind the ruck. Just 40 seconds left in this game. Yeah. You see, yeah, that sort of looks like he's running. Bunty R4. It looks like this is the last play of the game. 80 minutes up on the clock. What's going to happen? Spin it, boys. Why are you just doing a one-off run? Come on. Oh, look how far he's going, though. And that is the game, ladies and gentlemen. 24 points apiece. Oh, it's going to extra time. Okay, well, oh, it's golden point. Okay. In a preseason game, they decided to do golden point. Ha! <laughs> 
Okay, that's a bit different. Let's just see what happens though. Let's just speed it up just a touch. It's fast. Okay, here we go. I actually like the animations are much better at this speed, but it's obviously way too fast. Whoa, he's through, but oh, great tackle by two of us. A shit. How often has he done that? They bombed it out to the wing, but it was a knock on. Here we go. Now the Warriors have got it. Ah, Foa. Looks like some good defense coming in here, although. Oh. Try to get it wide. Is it, what's this side bomb stuff going on here? We'll just keep it at this speed till the end of the game, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's a knock on, and the Warriors get the feed. Attacking position here. Big chance to win the game. Set up for a droppy. Come on. Come on, sit back in the pocket. Is anyone back there? No, they're trying to run it. Come on, sit it back. Got to, got to be a droppy, surely. Oh, why are you bombing it? You're right in front. Oh, he scored. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter. The kick doesn't matter. The game is over. Golden point. And uh, there goes the results of the match. Two of us, Ashek and Darius Boy, both getting 95 for their rating. And some good ratings here by the Warriors players, actually. They actually played quite well. Um, it was a pretty close game in the end, though. So you got a few stats. The man in the match is Roger Tuovasashek, and he does get a lot of them. So that is pretty, pretty realistic. Right, let's see what happens when you exit out. Okay, didn't take long to get back to the main screen. We'll quickly check our mailbox, and then we will call it a day. Home win. Okay, you're, have, you have recorded a home win, and my backing has been adjusted accordingly. Okay. Oh, Isaac Luke for 12 days for a high tackle. Okay, that's cool. There are currently no marquee player assigned. Please assign a marquee player in the player section so we can conduct a salary from the league salary cap. Okay. So if we go into the team. Uh, where did he say to do it? What? Where did he say to do it? Player section. I must have some unread. unread Oh, governing body received a warning. Our facilities are not meeting the league specified criteria. Okay, so as you can see here, okay, we've got to go and assign a marquee player. I'll go and do that later. But there you go. You can see some more depth there saying that our facilities aren't up to speed. So we're going to have to spend some money probably to bring them up to speed. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. A, it was supposed to be a quick first look, but it ended up being quite long. But what I like is I definitely like the depth of the game. Uh, the actual, you know, all the different components, including, you know, transfers, your training, your attributes, uh, injuries, your financial side of it, all really, really good. Really, really good. The actual gameplay, in terms of the 3D engine, I think that's probably where the most energy needs to go. Uh, the animations look a little bit sort of robotic. Uh, when you're running, it looks like half the time the players are walking. Sometimes they're not facing the right way. So I think there's a little bit of improvement to uh, happen there. But the good thing is this is in, um, in early access, and you always have that ability to do a 2D um, a 2D match if you wanted to, also if you got hacked off with those other those other 3D animations. But all in all, I think a pretty solid title, to be fair, and I'll definitely be looking at um, continuing on with this. Um, and I might just actually set up a proper, a proper series and we'll see how we go. But uh, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Rugby League Team Manager 3 out on Steam right now. It is an early access, and as you can see, a little bit of development to happen. But all in all, I give it a two thumbs up. And I hope you did enjoy the uh, the video. Please uh, smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you are new. And until next time, everybody, take it easy.